Hello ladies, it's your girl Ashley and I want to talk to you about the thing you guys have been writing me about and asking me about is what should I do when I cannot get a guy to text me back? Texting, texting, texting. It's like the new thing of our generation where we always text and that's how we get to know people through text messages and oh my gosh, text, text, text. Okay, so I get it. So in this video, I just want to bring some clarity when it comes to dating and texting the pros and the cons and the good, the bad and the ugly, okay? So in this video, let's go over some good things about texting and relationships and let's go over the negative things when it comes to texting and relationships, okay? So you asked, um, how do I get a guy to text me back? Well, number one is make sure you're not talking about pointless things. Uh, so annoying. I hate when people text and... I'm pretty sure you guys do too. When someone texts you, you're like, hey, and you're like, hey, and they're like, nothing. And it's just like, what was the purpose of you texting me? Like, there's no purpose. So people, especially people who are busy, or um, if your guy's busy or if he works a lot, they don't respond back to pointless things or things that don't catch their interest. So I recommend if you're going to text someone, know what you're going to say ahead of time. Know his interest. Know that it's something that you guys can both communicate about, whether that's football, politics, art, whatever the case may be. Find something that you guys can both be interested in because if you're just texting pointless stuff, I guarantee you, second text message, he'll be over it and he'll stop texting you, okay? Um, number two is to get a guy to text you, ask his opinion about something. I always talk about how guys like to save the day and be the answer to the problems and all that stuff. So ask him a question about something. And that's a good conversation starter also. So, for example, Halloween just passed, but if Halloween was still here, a good question would be like, hey, which one, have you heard which one's better? Maybe either not Halloween Hunt or is it um, Universal's um, Hall Halloween Fest Night or whatever it's called. Um, and then if he's like, oh, I honestly don't know, but I heard that Knott's Berry Farm is cool, that's an open end to like, oh, okay, cool. Then you can go into, well, me and my girlfriends are planning on going. Would you like to come or bring your guys? That's a, it's a good conversation starter. You're talking about something. You're trying to ask something, not just random nonsense, okay? No one, unless you guys both have nothing to do, then okay, that's fine. But most of the time, we're grown. We have busy. We're working. We're doing stuff. No one wants to sit there and talk about meaningless things. So that's um, a couple of reasons, a couple of ways to get a guy to text you back. And also, let's talk about the pros and cons when it comes to texting and dating. Um, texting is good when you first meet someone, you get the number, and you're kind of nervous to call, and you kind of want to break the ice. So you shoot them a text, or he may shoot you a text. I'm like, hey, what's up? It was nice meeting you. And you guys may have a little conversation here and there. Texting is amazing for that. Got it. But if you're dating someone, you're trying to get to know that person better, and all of your guys' only means of communication is through texting, <clears throat> cut it off. Just because I dated someone who, that's all we did was text, 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 text. And the more engaged you get in the relationship, or you like him more, and all of a sudden his responses become slower to you, it literally drives a woman crazy. And you're like, well, why aren't you texting me back? Or this is what you're thinking in your head. Or if you're bold, you're texting him that, saying, what the heck? I know you got my message, I know you're not, why aren't you texting me back? So that could be the negative pitfall to texting and dating. And also, it makes it very, very awkward when you've only had a text relationship, you guys never talked on the phone, you guys really don't go out, and then when you guys actually do talk on the phone, or you guys do get in person, it's awkward just because you're so used to the delay response through the text messages, when you're in person, you immediately have to give a immediate response back, and it's just awkward. So find the balance. I mean, I'm not saying don't ever text, but don't make that the means of getting to know someone only through text messages. Um, another question I got asked was, what should I do if he just stops responding back to me midway conversation? Well, I'm going to tell you what you should not do, and that is, okay, if someone gives you the excuse, oh, I didn't get your message, or I didn't get your text messages, the one good thing about texting is, regardless if your phone is off or your phone is on, you always get the text messages. Even if you cut off your phone for the day, you turn it, power back on, all the messages show up. So at the end of the day, if a guy does not respond back to you, be easy, be cool, text a girlfriend, do something else. The worst thing you can do is text back with the, what the F, question mark, question mark, question mark, why aren't you responding back to me? Or, hello, what I used to do, question mark, question mark, question mark. That turns a guy off, and you come across clingy, needy, and that's what you don't want to do. I know it sucks, but if you're going to be having that text relationship, you basically have to wait on his timetable for him to text you back. 
Another thing I recommend that you do not do is if you're trying to get some clarity about a situation or you guys are arguing or um, you're trying to ask him a very important question but you're afraid to ask him in person and you're thinking, okay, well, I'll just shoot him a text and ask him. I get it. It's easier to do it that way. But the downfall to that is that he may not answer you just because he doesn't want to or he doesn't know what to say. So you're sitting here waiting for him to hear his response and he's not going to answer you anyways. So if you ask the important things in person, he has, he has to answer you because he's in front of you. Also, text messages, text messages get misconstrued all the time. I know multiple times where I've texted a person and I meant it in a nice way and it came through the way that they got it and the text messages came out completely wrong. So just be very careful and very, very aware of the things I just mentioned to you guys when it comes to texting and dating. Let's make it a great day. And honestly, pick up the phone, ladies. We're grown, we're beautiful, we're confident women. Pick up the phone and call him, okay? Or if he's only texts you, communicate that to him. Like, hey, I would like it. it why? Like, you know what? I don't like to text. Pick up the phone and call me. Let's make it a great day. Let's have better communication skills with men. And I look forward to hearing from you.